Welcome everyone, it is John here. And today's adventure brings us to the National Video Game Museum. And this is a, com a compilation of several people's collections of vintage video games. And you guys, I love video games. I have some vintage ones of my own and I'm looking forward to getting in here and checking this out. So cool. Commercials playing, different video games showing up. Jeff from Creates? Yes. What are you doing here? I am in my, my home, my home away from home. Yes, I can relate. So they got some vintage consoles here, some different things playing on the TVs. This is pretty sweet. You got by the system. This is cool, guys. I remember these commercials. Like that one right there. Oh yeah, the old Atari. Yeah, there's an Atari. My grandma had one. I actually have one. I still have my original at the house. Super Nintendo. I wanted one of these so bad as a kid. Never did get one. Maybe I should get one now that I'm an adult. Yeah. All right guys, we are inside and I'm already seeing some really awesome stuff here. Look at this old Dr. Pong. We got Puppy Pong. And then the, one of the original arcade Pong. Wow, look at that. Just look, this is like incredible. Just take a look at all this. Man, this is so nostalgic, guys. I mean, so these were pretty much before my time, but my dad was into these games, and I remember all right, me and Carpetbaggers playing a, a rousing game of Pong. Uh, that was a, I got an easy 2 nothing lead. You everything. Dang. Dude, you're beating yourself. I'm not beating you. Check this out. It's a huge Pong. Uh, oh, you got me. Hail to the king. I forgot how challenging this is. to win. Or does this go on? I don't, I don't know. You know what was so hard? I'm trying to play it through my camera. I was in here holding my camera and I'm trying to play it through my little screen. Oh, I missed. I'm only one point ahead. Now we're tied. Oh crap! Okay, I tried to put the camera down to play, but uh, I got my tail whipped. You're you're a very admirable Pong player. Thank you, guys. I'm just looking at all what's around here. This is pretty freaking amazing. Let's look right here. We just got console after console. So I have I have the Atari 2600. Then we go on down. I have this. Alright guys, we got some old schools here. Got the 2600, which was one of my favorites. And the Bally Arcade. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, here's the Atari 5200, which I never had. And as we go on around, we see the Neo Geo. This was where it really all started for me right here. And then it, it kind of bounced from here to the Super Nintendo, which I still have my original. And then of course we had the PlayStation 64. Nintendo 64 is one of my favorites, still is one of my favorites. And then of course if we've all had the Xbox and PlayStation 2, I'm still on PlayStation 3. I've not upgraded from there. But check these out. like. You can kind of select different games. 
Oh, I guess it tells you information. Oh, yeah, it tells you what it costs new. That's cool. Assortment of games you can uh, set and play. I remember the Dreamcast when it came out. It was a little ahead of its time, but it just did not pan out. All right, in this section, it's a bunch of video-based board games. Here we got Doom. One of my favorite video games on Super Nintendo, Donkey Kong Country. I never did have this game, but I would love to freaking have it now. Then we got a Pac-Man game, which is... This is cool. Look at this. Wow. Oh, the Nintendo 64. The DD. Wow. Never did have this set up. But I do remember the troubles with the expansion pack. Because when I got Donkey Kong 64 on Christmas, I realized I needed to buy an expansion pack to be able to play it. It was a dark day. Okay, so we got a lot of really... I'm just going to kind of pan through some of these. Point out some of my, my favorites. And Resident Evil up there. Oh, this is when they they started uh, coming out with some generics and uh, the Atari. I'm sure they have been adding some style and flair. Flair? I can't talk today. And Atari came out with a lot of different consoles. Oh, my favorite. I didn't have this kit because I got the, the Super Mario World version, Model 001 actually, and I still got it. The Star Fox. Star Fox was big back in the day. NES Satellite, I remember the commercials for that. And then the robot that literally didn't do anything. Oh, Rob. And then the special edition. We still have. The 64, and we got the different colored controllers. Ethan has the gold, I have the clear blue one. Look, casino games for kids. All in the first 32 bit. Well, I don't know if it's the first, but look at that. Star Voyager ship. Sega Neptune prototype. It's a lot of different guns along the bottom here for different game systems. Oh, look at the Pokemon Nintendo 64. That's cool. I didn't even know they had that one. The green Xbox. And all the different PS2s. Look at that limited edition Hello Kitty Sega Dreamcast. And then cereals, of course. Well, oh, I hear some 80 sounds coming from behind me. Look at all this. Here's some awesome toys from back in the day from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Combat. We got Raiden or Rodden, however you want to play. Scorpion, come here. Some Donkey Kong classic toys. Yeah, these are awesome. Hubert. Yes. I never did get into the Final Fantasy games, but a lot of people did. Oh, the living room of the 70s. Check this out. Look at that console TV. We had old VCR up top. Here's the bedroom of the 80s. Starting off with a blue oyster coat jacket. Look at the record albums here. We got Thriller. Got the Mario Brothers lamp. Check out, we got Super Mario on the TV. Oh my god, they have a Pee Wee Herman figure. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. 
Pole position. Oh, I love pole position. All right, guys. I've got pole position. We got some realistic photographs, some concert tickets, the movie tickets to the Goonies. We got the Scorpions, Def Leppard, Springsteen. Check out some of these old console games. We got Simon. Look at this, man. Really cool depiction of the 80s here. Cool interactive things here. Check this stuff out. Oh, we got some virtual reality things going on here. We got Battle Zone. We got actually, you can use some VR. Testing and stuff. That is so cool. Oh, all the froggers. So freaking cool. CD, F station. It's like done so many different things at once. PlayStation 1. And we got some more prototype stuff down here. Check all this out. Check that Xbox out. That was the one. I had that one at one point. Look at this Dreamcast. There's a test, PlayStation 2. Oh, this is awesome. Let's see some of this prototype stuff. And here's some games. This is amazing. Tetris. It's suspended. That's a creepy freaking game. Yeah, we'll stay away from that. Here is the evolution of video game controllers. There we go, a Dreamcast. Yeah, they come out and said that this was giving people seizures and it kind of got a bum rap. Um, it was kind of ahead of its time though. It was like PlayStation 2 graphics before PlayStation 2. Look at all these other video game controllers. And here's some virtual reality, the power glove. <laughs> the joy board. Here's a assortment of pocket games. Check these out down here. And then these little mini home arcades. Got some down here. And the Game Boy's evolution. Some more stuff you can play here. Then we continue the pocket game evolution here. Here's a movie modern day we got those, the PSP and the, and the Nintendo version, the new Game Boys. It's really cool. Here's an evolution of PC games. Technology's always included gaming with it, even from the early days. Look here. Oh, I keep falling in this hole over and over again. Oh, this is it's not great. Okay, go up. Out of the hole. How, how do I keep falling back in this hole? 
Try going over to the edge and then wrap it up. Oh, okay. So go over to the edge. Then put my neck up. There's not something E.T. did in the movies. He didn't... What? Yeah, good luck, bro. Look at the circuitry design down there on the bottom of the cases. Look at some of this. And this is a video game store staple. The Master Chief from Halo. And we got a lot of different video games in here. Or Hank Hill say some video games. And then we gotta check out the arcade. guys the National Video Game Museum it was a lot of fun brought back some really cool memories I set today's high score on Galaga and uh, man it was great got to bring back some nostalgic moments um, guys if you like this video give it a big thumbs up I appreciate your watch if you want to help support this channel I sell awesome shirts like this and I have a patreon where I send you cool stuff guys till next time y'all have a good day